Welcome back to another video on the Growth of Greatness YouTube channel. I'm your host, Coach Chris. I want to thank you for tuning in. And in this video, we're taking another short snippet from our content creation program over at Greatness Unlimited. And we want to talk about distribution styles. Now, most people use social media in multiple, multiple ways, right? But we have to break down the top three apps and what they're used for. So we're covering Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. Um, in this video, you'll also learn how you can distribute your content properly on those platforms. Enjoy now, let's, let's talk about the platforms because uh, this is really important. A lot of people don't know this. They think um, when you're transitioning from creator to from consumer to producer, you have to understand where you can deliver your value at and how. Um, because most people think, oh, if I put out, if I create a video, if I create a YouTube video, if I create a channel, people are going to just subscribe and stuff, and they will. But when you're posting your content, it's a different way to post everything on different social media sites. You can't just post anything anywhere, anytime, any kind of way. It's not going to work. Even if you have a lot of followers, it's still not as effective everywhere. So let's explain. Now, Twitter. Twitter is about engagement. You know, everybody on there has a voice. And whether you have one follower or 10,000, you have a voice. Everybody can tweet. So everybody has an opinion. They can say something. So Twitter is about engaging. It's about getting to know people and get their opinions. If you create content, you go to Twitter to find their opinions. Like I ask people how they would feel about a PowerPoint video. Um, or how would you rather me be just me on screen? Would you rather see slides? Like you can get those get those questions out there and get feedback. And that's really, really powerful when you create content. You can ask questions about what people may want, what they want to learn next. That's super helpful for you. Um, and Twitter is the best place to ask questions and get answers, the best place. Um, so you should always be on Twitter to engage. Now, you can post your content, but do not spam people. <laughs> like, we hate spam accounts on Twitter. You, you're literally labeled as spam and you can never come back from that. You have to start a whole new account. Um, and spam accounts are people who basically only post links. You go to their page and it's a link, 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 and then a photo for a blog and then a link and then a photo link into a podcast or LinkedIn or something like, no, we're not on Twitter to look at your links. Like, like you have to engage with us. Um, and it's good to post, you can post a link one time, you know, but a really powerful strategy. This is a pro tip. Post a piece of content with your link. So, what I usually do is post a short clip of my podcast and then a link to the full episode. Now, that's how you get people to listen. If I just post a link, people are going to scroll past whatever. But when they look at the video, they listen to it. Okay, I like this. I want to hear more. Boom, they click the link. They can hear more of the show. So Twitter is about engaging and taking a different approach. Don't just post links on there. Nobody, It won't work. It won't work. Nobody wants to see it. Now, Facebook is about the words. It's about writing um, you can do videos and it's really powerful you can write really good long copy um, and then add in a nice video clip and then have a powerful call to action like hey go listen to this full episode watch this full video or something like if you can combine those different strategies on facebook that'll help you and that's why groups are so so well on facebook because people are there to read longer posts they want to watch uh, longer videos um Facebook is just really good for that kind of, uh, it's, it's really engagement and kind of storytelling. If you can tell stories, you're really going to kill it on Facebook because that's what people love on there. You know, and if you have content, another pro tip, go on to Facebook groups and don't spam the group with your content. Again, you want to engage with people, get them to ask you questions by asking them questions. So you ask, oh, what are you having problems with? What do you need help with? Uh, I'm an entrepreneur, so I go to entrepreneur groups and ask questions. Uh, what about your organization? Are you creating content? What do you have issues when creating content? Um, and this was one of the answers I got. People said, I don't know how to use different platforms. So that's why I'm explaining it now. That's how you can gain more knowledge on Facebook, in the Facebook group specifically. Now, you're just asking your timeline. You may get a lot of random answers. But when you go into specific groups, with uh, specific audiences and members, that's where you can learn a lot, really gain a lot of information. So Facebook is really good for those stories, whether it's a video or a long written out post. 
Now, Instagram is about visuals, all about pictures and really good videos. And if you don't have good visuals, you will really lose on Instagram. It's hard to win on that platform if you don't have the pictures people want to see. If it's not appealing to the eyes, if it's not an aesthetic with it, um, you have to have a, a design on there for you to really win. And I kind of like Instagram uh, in one aspect, the fact that they don't allow people to post links in the description. Because I feel like everybody will post a ton of links in their captions. I hope they never add that feature because people will just overdo it like they do on Twitter and Facebook and YouTube. It's just everywhere. Everybody posts way too many links sometimes. It's not useful. It can be really spammy. I like how on Instagram you have one link in the bio. That's it. I love that feature. That's the best part of Instagram to me. Uh, so it's really on there. It's about... Um, engaging too you know you want to deliver content as far as your short one minute clips um, or you can add two and just add two videos but don't do overdo it with the videos on Instagram because again you want to give short amounts of value you know you're creating content I take a one minute clip from this from you'll see this on Instagram It's gonna be one minute clip that's it and if you want to see the full video go here and watch the full video so it's really about giving people pieces on Instagram. Just give them a piece here, visual here, uh, behind the scenes video, uh, a picture, a little one minute video of the full, maybe 20 minute video, give them one minute of it. Um, and the people who are interested are gonna find a way to get more. That's why your link has to be good in your bio. But Instagram is visual. Even if you put up videos, here's a good pro tip. This is something I learned from somebody who made a million dollars from Instagram. The cover photos of your video is important. And uh, the captions as well. So uh, there's a few different apps. One is Subtitle. Uh, I can't think of the other one right now. But you know, some people will be scrolling, and when they're scrolling, they don't necessarily have the sound on, so they don't know it's a video. So it's good to have that cover image just up there for maybe a second when they first get to the video, and then have captions. So if they don't want to turn the sound on, they can still read the subtitles to your video. Now that's powerful because let's say I'm in a situation where I necessarily can't listen to the video. I don't really want to hear it, but it's still something I'm interested in. I read the video for a minute. I like it. Now I go to your page and I check it out I'm like, okay, I like this content. Now I click the link in your bio and opt in to get some free something like that's how the process can work if you present your content well. So really take the time to design that content well on Instagram. So just to do a quick recap. In this video, we talked about how you can use Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram more, you know, just in a better way, you know, so that you can get a better return on the time you're putting into content, the energy you put into producing it, and the money you may even be putting into promoting it. So we have a freebie for you in the description below. It's going to help you really break things down and set up that nice chart so you can really get organized with what content is going where and how you deliver it. This will help you really establish your message and start to build that brand presence. As always, I'm your host, Coach Chris. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed, please do so now. Leave a like as well. Make sure you search for us on Instagram, greatness underscore unlimited. See you in the next video.